How did we evolve to a full course remodel is a great question because initially, uh, if you think about it, in 2016, the biggest crisis we were facing was water. It was a drought. And so one of the biggest concerns from our strategic planning process was water independence, for lack of a better word, uh, and also how to make our course water wise. So it really, the full remodel kind of came about later. Initially it was how do we address uh, in, especially in the East Bay, uh, water and water independence. Um, initially, we looked at how we could um, uh, reduce water use for the club, also make uh, uh, the course something that we could tie into a reclaimed water project that we are pursuing. Um, and as the project evolved from there, uh, then it eventually the scope began to increase to a, a, full, a full renovation of the course. It became early on evident that, you know, when you start to look at the cost of irrigation, which then triggers the need for drainage, which then triggers the need to look at your turf, it became one of those things where it was pretty evident it was going to be an all or nothing. You didn't want to piecemeal it. You didn't want to spend three or four million dollars on irrigation and then have terrible drainage or, or turf that was, you know, for cool weather and not warm weather. So it didn't take long as we started looking into it that the best way to go was, was, was an all approach, um, and which is where we ended up. We had three main issues that we were trying to accomplish. Is one, obviously the driving range was, was not in the condition it should be and, and was a safety issue. Um, two, we had an aging irrigation system that we knew we should replace before too long. And, and three, we had green complexes that were incredibly challenging and very penal for even some of our members just to walk in and out of, let alone hit a golf shot. So, you know, by taking those into equation, we were already going to be eight to $10 million in. And so um, it just made sense at that point to really, let's do it right. Let's not Band-Aid approach it and, and really get a great product. And we were fortunate to be able to work with Gil and, and get this uh, over the finish line. In our review of the needs of Santa Ana Country Club, uh, the first uh, level of analysis is what is the condition of the infrastructure, the irrigation system, and all of the other things that go to the heart of the golf course. Our irrigation system was built in 1962, and it had a bunch of old asbestos pipes, and to repair asbestos pipes, you have to have hazmat suits and people to come in and work on them. And we obviously knew that that, that need was there. So you start then assessing all of the other amenities that you have and all of the, and the condition of everything else. We think we had, if our budget was finally $8 million, we think we had four or $5 million of deferred maintenance cost at least. And we were gonna have to spend that anyway. So once you start saying, look, you can't have a golf course without an irrigation system, you gotta spend this money, and we're all gonna have to pay for that. And then you start looking at it in terms of, now if I can spend an additional amount of money, the small delta that you get from that, to have a new driving range and a new short game course and all that, that's before you even talk about improving, building all new holes and a much better golf course. Then members start saying, well, yeah, we, should, we need to do this all at once because you, you build a new golf course when you figure out where the irrigation pipes go. And so when you lay the irrigation, I mean, you can't do one without the other. So, so once you know you've got a new irrigation system and it's your moment to see what you can do, then you put, then you, you the fact that Jay laid this beautiful golf course out, it started to make perfect sense that we would do it all at once. As we investigated what needed to be done, it was apparent that just fixing the greens, which was, was, the, was the original conversation, was not practical. When you fix greens, you need to redo the bunkers. And then our irrigation system was past its useful life. And the other factor was that the course had been uh, tinkered with, if you will, by various boards, greens chairmen, and things done without an eye, an architectural eye. So we had lots of asphalt cart paths, we were overgrown with trees. And our neighboring clubs had done remodels. Peninsula Club in 2001 had done a complete restoration uh, from a fellow who was a Donald Ross expert. And the Olympic Club was always upgrading their things. And so the, uh, the course restoration business, if you will, 
uh, coming out of that uh, 2001 downturn in the economy, all of a sudden it became sort of in vogue to restore these uh, golden age golf courses. And so that's how our conversation progressed and it got all the way to the point of completely rebuilding the golf course. Many of our members wanted to do serial fixes and they pointed as an example to the Peninsula Club which did nine at a time. Well, our reasoning was, for one thing, as a practical matter, people wanted that approach because they didn't want to lose their golf course. But if you reduce their golf course to just nine holes, you have your normal play stuffed into nine holes. It, it diminishes the experience. But perhaps the most important thing is agronomy and the change of seasons. So at the Peninsula Club, they had construction equipment, dust, dirt, disruption for the better part of three golf seasons. And each nine had to grow in under different agronomic conditions. And unfortunately, they went through three superintendents after they opened. And of course, the poor superintendent gets the blame when things don't turn out. But Ken Venturi, who was a member since 1951, came up and spoke to all the members at a dinner and he, he just said, folks, I don't have a vote. I'm an honorary member. But if you do this, you don't get a mulligan. So do it once, do it right, and get it over with. And so that's why we did it the way we did it.